Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Movie Social. Got your co-host here, Steph. My main man, Ricky. Today, we're going to do a review on Will's Furrow's latest Netflix movie called Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. Now, um, we're just going to make it quick, simple, fast, and a hurry. But before we get to that, don't forget to like the move, uh, like the video. I'm sorry. Uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications to let you know when we post a video because we like we laying out that fire content. And uh, below. and comment below. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you like for us to review, um, and we can keep it going. So let's start up in this review. So I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm just going straight on and say. Um, the reason why I didn't like it is because it's not your typical Will Ferrell movie. It's not going to be your Talladega Nights. It's not going to be your Step Brothers. It's not going to be your, um, what was that, um, Anchorman. It's not going to be your, um, uh, it, it's not Get Hard. It's none of that. It, it would not Get Hard. What was it? Trop Tropic Thunder? Not Tropic Thunder. Uh, what's the basketball team? Whatever. Yeah, no. Tropic, uh, the Tropics or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what you're about. The basketball movie. It's none of those. It's more of a music. It's a musical. And it's comedy, but it's not enough comedy in there to make you like really laugh. It was like one funny part. We'll get into that at the spoiler review, which you can find right here in the card. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, I, I didn't like it. I thought it was terrible. Um, if I'm sitting on my phone texting <laughs> while I'm watching a movie, that's, that's how interested I am. I'm really not interested. Uh, your thoughts? Personally, I thought it was complete and utter garbage. Let's just scrap it. Netflix, pull it now. Don't let anybody else watch it. Just get rid of it. Will Ferrell, just get rid of it. Throw it in the background. If I was to say where this ranks among his movies, this would be dead last. Dead last. This is something I would think you would want to forget. Never want to watch ever again. It was a waste of two hours and three minutes. Complete uh. waste. I don't know what they were thinking coming up with this. Horribly written. It was horrible. Complete and other horrible. Utterly horrible. To me, it also was insulting. To what, though? I mean, the accents, everything. The whole thing was insulting. It was insulting to my eyeballs for having to watch it. It was insulting to my ears for having to sit there and listen to it. It was trash. It wasn't even dry humor. It was no humor. I give it a zero out of... Damn. Damn. I mean, I'm trying to figure out the funny parts. I can only find one. Oh, there was something that was pretty funny towards the end when they were talking about... No. When his interactions with the Americans, which we'll discuss, uh, talk about in the um, spoiler, version. spoiler version, that was pretty funny. But other than that, like I said, it wasn't a Will Ferrell movie in the sense of what we're used to. And like, you, all, you know how we all have that bad game? This was a bad game for her, you know. This was a slip up. This was an L for me, you know. Yeah, but know. is it getting? Are you getting too old, bro? I don't, I don't think he's getting too I old. I mean, you can be old and act. There's some yeah. actors who didn't start until late in their years. I don't even think it, it had anything to do with his acting. I just don't think it was a good story. Did you read the script and read anything before I mean, started filming? He was a writer. I'm just saying. It wasn't. It just wasn't good. I know he um, was a writer. He was a star. It was just. I'm. I'm. What I'm, were you thinking? I am it a one out of ten, and it's simply because it had like four or five funny parts that made me chuckle. You found um, a funny part. I, I found for my humor, and you know I have some funny, some weird humor that I that, that I seen that I had. Um, but yeah, it was pretty bad for me. I'll give it a one out of ten. Um, I don't recommend you watch this movie. Um, if you just want to waste your day, do something else. File your taxes. Listen, you can sit through and watch all of our uh, content that's online and on YouTube over watching this. It's a bit longer, but you'll be more entertained than this. Watch paint dry. Listen, when they say, are you not entertained? You I'm right saying right. I'm not entertained at all. Entertained. This a was a joke to me. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um... Netflix, try again next time. Yeah, so... Well, Farrell, please come out with something better. And that's the thing. Like, I feel like... And this is just my opinion. Can we get a Step Brothers too? I feel like... Because of what's going on in the world, 
and everything and the fact that it was straight to Netflix, I feel like I kind of should have expected it to not be good, but Will well, Ferrell is just Will Ferrell. And, but there's also some really good movies that also, I, I don't know. Well, I don't Netflix know. Netflix is starting to draw them up. It's competition in the movie mm -hmm. realm where they're big name characters and big name stars that are making movies and it's coming straight to Netflix and then Netflix sometimes might release it in theaters. But this would have never been one of those. Ones, yeah, it, ever. it wasn't that good to me at all. Um, so you know how we feel. I say I, I do not recommend you watch this at all. Um, but Maybe I mean, you're into comedy music. Musicals? I wasn't in that because that would have been fine. But it just this wasn't comedy at all. Yeah, it wasn't funny. But at all, if but. you guys did watch it, let us know what you guys thought in the comments. We would love to hear it, whether or not if you agree with us, disagree with us. Let's. Have a discussion on it. Yeah, uh, well, till next time, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a uh, comment. And uh, we'll get to you next time. Peace. See you.